Fearbergs for three, way off Ooh. the mark. Who opened the door on that one? Kick ahead to Wilcher for three. Knocks what? it down. That's the way we like to get a little, little extra senior leadership. Vandermel, jump shot. Gets it to go. Well, that's what he's going to do. He's going to continue to put pressure on the, the defense. This is where they want to work inside if you're the Huskers. Inside to Keita. Nice move inside. That's where you want to work. Oh, that's a great cut. Keita missed it. Great cut out of Greasel. Vandemel, free throw line jumper is good. That's senior leadership right there. Oh, big turnover. Take away from right, McLeish. Crossover. Vandemel says, uh uh. Nice. Get it out of here. Now you want to see what you're going to do on the offensive end. Do not settle. Strong attack. That's what you want to do if you're the Huskers. That's what you want to do. Continue to attack the rack. This is the time you want to get another good shot. Nothing to settle. Breidenbach for three. Drains it from the top of the key. Goggles. Huskers working it around. Keyed over to Bandamel for three. Knocks it down. There it is. That's a tough physical matchup. Fiddler may not like that physicality. That Bandamel's SCC. feeling it. There he is. Boom. Back-to-back -back threes for Emmanuel Bandamel. Basketball on Big Ten Plus. Strong to the right. Wilcher for three. That's yes. it. That's what he wants. That's the kind of look you want, CJ. Kick out and... Omaha's going to push it. They got numbers. Bandamel takes it away. How many times does he do that? Does he do that? Bandamel. Nice lay in. Three on the other end for Omaha. No, Bandamel. They got to push here. Gets the board and. There it is. Bandamel that's, coast to coast. That's what he does. Ball knocked away by Omaha. So they're on the break here. And Bandamel. Again with the defensive play. Get that out of here. The long arm of the law. And there he is again. Takes it away. On the break. Banamel flying in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Denied by Fiddler. Frankie played with my Fiddler. <laughs> so Fiddler's going to head to the bench with three fouls. Banamel, nice drive. Oh. Strong finish. Shot clock winding down, five. There's Bandamel. Loses it, gets it back, off the glass. <laughs> now in tempo, trailing, catching. Wiltshire for three, transition bucket. And a three for Wiltshire, and the lead is six. Wiltshire and Bandamel play catch. Four to shoot, Bandamel. That's a two along two goes for Bandamel. His first bucket tonight. Gary with 12 first half points. Stripped away by Bandamel. Here's Wilcher. Bandamel at the elbow. In the paint. Leaves it for Breidenbach. Bandamel contested three up top. This is something new with the Nebraska offense. They got multiple handlers and multiple guys to initiate it. This guy's one of them. Wow. They're making it, they're making the corn huskers one dimensional. Difficult shot here. Great Bandumel. shot. Bandumel. Emmanuel Bandumel. Chance for the Huskers. Maybe get this down to single digits. Bandumel drives and scores and makes it a 10-point game. True freshman has checked in for the Sooners as a result number three. First action for him tonight. Freshman out of Blair Academy. Great pass. One's looking at them wondering who's playing. Look at Bannon coming off, then making plays, stays in. And his first bucket of the night, just a second field goal attempt. They usually don't go to him early. And there's the hands of Wiltshire creating that steal. Outlet, here's Gary! Show these guys how you used to do when you were in high school. I don't know if you noticed tonight. <laughs> He's not going to save him there. That's Maybe put Tobinog on the perimeter. 
Breidenbach gets it to go with that left hand. Timeout, Nebraska. Tominaga, the lefty three switch. And again, having Walker in, he just helps relieve pressure. This is the guy that needs to get going. Nothing but net there for C.J. Wiltshire. These guards are really struggling to get open without using him. Got to go on the ball screen with him. Walker, guard. turn, shoots, and scores. Great basketball. Help their guards out. Vandermel's been playing with two fouls. Good chunk of this first half. I think as long as Davis is on the court. Vandemel decides to take the three this time and knocks it down. Nothing but net. This is what he wants to do. Dribble, get to his spot. He, he, he turn and shoot over. Vandemel fade away. Did that hit the side of the backboard? Just when Nebraska was trying to cut it to, to, you know, to 10. No quit in him, though. Man, we've seen it this, this, this tournament. We should have struggled quite a bit at getting by his guy. Vandermel, two-point shot. State Sunday at 7.30 Eastern time on ESPN News in the seventh place game. You and I'll be calling that game. Yes, yes, we will indeed. He added his season debut on Friday. Wiltshire fires. It's around to Greasel. His three's in the air. Good. And he's fouled. And a chance for a four-point play for Sam Greasel. Vandermel. Got by the defender oh, nice. and reverses the land. I mean, look at the baseline. He just catches it. <laughs> catches the pass, rips the baseline. The nice reverse lay. Riso played four seasons at North Dakota State before making his way to Nebraska. And the alley oop to Emmanuel Bandemel gets these Husker fans up early. When you space, Defenses have a more difficult time of rotating. Well executed by BC. Tommy Naga for the lead, yes. And Greg McDermott, he has a juggernaut. And trust me, if you've never been to Omaha for a great Blue Jay game, with those 17,000 crazies there, that's as fun an atmosphere as I've ever been mm -hmm. in college basketball. Vandermill drives again. Gary for three, yes. This first three of the night, an eighth of the season. Under 10 on the shot clock. Ashton Langford drives. DeMar Langford cut off. Greasel tips the pass, and here comes Vandermill. Ashton Langford. Greasel finds Vandermill for three. Biggest lead for the Huskers at eight. Or in case they told Anaga really rotating well that bothered the shot. There's Tobinaga from deep. Man, is he feeling it. He's up to 20. He remains scoreless at 16 points in their last two games each. Tommy Naga wants another one. He can't miss. Their seven-footer Quentin Post has been through a foot injury out for a couple more weeks, we're told. Led the team in blocks last season, nine points, five boards a game. Yeah, and there are some cracks in the ACC as you see Greece will knock it down. And, and he's having to practice in a way that he normally would. He's trying to save legs. Earl Grant has the same problem. He's trying to save guys' legs to come out and be able to play in a 40-minute game. Bandamel inside. Trace Jackson Davis says, I'm not Ryan Kulkbrenner, at least on that play. I know. Trace Jackson Davis a lot quicker off his feet. Remember, the rest of the team Saturday at Rutgers was one for 16 from three. Oh, nice flip to Bandamel for the two-hand flush. And Nebraska's on the board. Walker to the point guard. Dribble to his left to Denham Dawson. Vandemel, slow start, but he hits the three. Huge bucket for him and for Nebraska. Fortunately, he got away with that. And these have been a turnover. Vandemel driving on Galloway, got to the rim. That big body, we know he can shoot the three, but really having success putting it on the deck. Vandemel with a three. That drops. Huskers with an eight in the first half and not one point from behind the arc. Cop has been aggressive. Nice oh, feed, take. finish, and a foul. Good take. Greasel there with Walker. Vandermill, nice pocket pass. A good finish. Got it to within seven a couple of times, but a 14-0 run. 
for Indiana really separated them. As Tominaga starting to get hot, he's got nine. A proud father and, and husband. It's great to see Indiana supporting that effort. Vandemel in the corner. That three falls. You got Edie at the bucket. Throw it up and let the big fella eat. Into the corner now. Vandemel splashes one through. Vandemel on the offensive, the defensive rebound, down by two. And he goes right to the rack to tie it up. Dad's a scout with the Los Angeles Clippers, so Fletcher Lawyer comes in with a tremendous amount of confidence. Vandemel fires away from three and rattles it home. Boy, Emmanuel Vandemel showing more emotion. And in and out of his hands. And a foul on Purdue. Kaufman ran, charged with the personal. Some energy being brought by the defensive end from Nebraska. It's not going to be much daylight when you go with Edie like that. Three blocks now for Edie. Tommy Naga gives it up. There's a three band of Mel. Wow. What range from the Canadian. Got ourselves a ball game. Kasey Tommy Naga. You thought he was going to force that one up. Ethan Morton in great position. Gives it over to Van de Mel. All the way from Canada. Bringing the rain. Nothing but cotton. Nebraska's done a really good job of doubling him when he gets the ball, but watch here. Tipped away. Wiltshire and Walker got their hands on it. Vandemel, strong to the rack and finish. Good finish. They've been a long time Division II powerhouse. Uh, they, this team qualified for, well, they can't qualify, but they still can play in the conference and do some wonderful things. Inside to Walker, over to Bandamel. Pump fake, jumper, drains it. It's tough, good mid-range jumper there out of Bandamel. Put it in a basket, either there at the free throw line to get yourself going. Six points for Die. inside to Walker. Walker goes to work. Nice pass to Bandamel. Breidenbach into the game for the Huskers. Bandamel, nice feed inside. Breidenbach, strong finish. Does have eight points, just can't get it going from three. It's good D on the on McKee over there from. Matthews throws it away, Bandamel takes it away. They finally broke through and got it under double digits. That's the lead to nine, 62-53. Bandamel, strong take. Tough finish from Bandamel. Bandamel gave it up to Wiltshire. Wiltshire, he's had the hot hand here in the first half for the Huskers. You bring in these transfers, Emmanuel Bandamel, Sam Greasel, Juwan Gary, and it's just a totally different tone around here. Greasel for three. They can't miss on this end. Shooting free throws the rest of the way in this first half, too. Vandemel puts it on the floor. Now Walker against Rebracci with the left hand. So smooth. He just understands angles and has such good footwork. Perkins has been almost a non-factor in this game. He's 0 for 5 from the floor. And he's on the floor. And that one is good from Vandemel. Sanford is down. There's the alley up to Vandemel. And that ball goes through the hole as well, but... Defensively, they've, they've been outstanding. Little stop and go, Vandemel. Yeah, they certainly did. Ooh. Oh, Aikens on the baseline. Can't get the wraparound to go. Now Nebraska looking to push. Vandemel to the other end. And Vandemel through the contact from Sissoko gets to. Michigan State, Kevin, run the floor, but the Huskers giving the Spartans a little bit of their own medicine. We're conference play the rest of the way in the Big Ten. We cannot wait to see how it unfolds. Hogard inside, losing his footing, and it's taken away by Bandemel. And so now he's solidifying that post position for the Spartans because they know they've got everything else locked up. Top one for Breidenbach, and he leans it in against Kohler. They are chipping away at this deficit. They just keep coming. Breidenbach gets to his sweet spot. Lefty off glass. That's a pretty move. They called the foul on the reach in by Walker. You got to have hands up, high and active against Derek Walker at all times. That's going up. Tommy Naga up top for three. Five quick points. From nearby Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Bandemel fires for three. And the hot shooting we saw in the first half continues early on, second half. 
Number 10, Vandermill. He's been quiet offensively so far today. Trying Ooh. to change that and does. Pretty in the paint. Vandermill with the bucket. And that's a good stat line right there. It's a big time, especially on the road in a tough environment. That's a big time for San Grisi. No look feed down low. Vandermill will count in one. Derek Walker just directed traffic. Told Vandermill to cut. He will find him. And that he did. Terrence Shannon scored 10 points in the final 8.33 in the first half after Bandemel went to the bench with two fouls and Bandemel back out there. You kick it up top to the top of the key, then make the ball reverse. Here's Walker back to Bandemel for the two hands. So that's what they were missing with Walker. They play through him as witness there. Some have come off giving and an offensive rebound and you could see him trying to locate the shot blocker danger. As a result, he left it short. Reidenbach will launch the three. Oh, he's feeling it right now. Nice recovery that time. Saw Dawson close out on Braden Smith. Looked like he had an open look. Edie has his cross court pass stolen away by Emmanuel Bandeville. Bandeville drifting across the lane, and Emmanuel Bandeville, the Quebec City native transfer from SMU. You know, their competitiveness and their ability to get after it each and every night kind of separates them from some of the other freshmen that you see on a regular basis. First missing that one, Bandeville on the move. Euro steps through and lays it in. And now they've dropped a couple. And so it's just, it goes on and on. Michigan State had their injuries early. They're start, they're healthy now. You hear that term, the game slowing down, and it does seem like, again, he's new to basketball. I mean, that's what the crazy thing about it is. It, you know, only been playing for about five years is Tominaga hits the three. He was the fourth Boilermaker in double figure. Yeah, this is a team that has made major strides here, Nebraska. As we get the three ball there. And Dawson will try the three, and he hits. A nice use of the jump stop, but he still went off kind of off balance. Got bumped as he went into a shot. Greasel, open look from three, and he makes the Buckeyes pay from deep. 10-9 lead halfway through this first half for Nebraska. Vandemel back to Walker, and Walker hits it to oh. pinball hole. That's what the good Dr. Naismith had in mind, okay? <laughs> he had a pre he had a visit with the doctor this morning. Fred Hoiberger said he's going to talk more about what happened in that doctor's appointment after the game as Lawrence gets the feed and hits the three, and Nebraska up three. And now a takeaway. And Vandemel says, let's pull back on this one a bit. We get the big story, Chris Street coming up when we're done in Lincoln. The story of the Iowa basketball legend. Vandemel to the other end. Vandemel hasn't scored a lot, but he honored the scouting report. You're forcing the left-handed player, Justice Suing, to his off or right hand, leads to an opportunity. And you make the great defensive play. I always like to see the game reward, something like that. Vandemel. You got to get it to key. I mean, he's got to make himself available. And they try to get it inside, and he lost the ball. Not a great pass to no. Key, and the Huskers get it back. Bail out the Corn Huskers. Free soul. Baseline. Tough pass. Bandemel. Good catch. Drive. Finish. Dawson's a tough defender. These guys can guard. Bandemel. Pirouettes in the paint. Pretty finish. What an answer in the form of an 8 0 run for Nebraska out of that timeout. Spin. I like the way he's played. And we talk about his passing. Hey, just keep attacking at the three.